Hello everybody, how are you? Hope everybody's doing fine, I really do. I, I mean, I really do. People, I'm going to tell y'all something. We're in deep, deep, deep trouble. And, and I really mean it. I, I've never seen so much chaos go on. What's going on right now? So many different rules and regulations for all sorts of different people. And this stuff is still going on and nobody really talking about it. So I'm fixing to show you something. I want you to look at it. Um, I'm going to partially be in the way. Ain't sure how I'm going to do this. Might try this. See how this works. Okay. Now, what I'm about to show you, I can't say the words. Uh, I'm going to show you something that's entirely off the charts and it's new. It's the first time it's been reported. Come out yesterday. And being honest with you, I've been thinking about whether I should or shouldn't know it. So, no more waiting. Let's just do this. See what it says up here at the top, right? Yeah. 49 year old woman. Yeah. Yep. Now, I'm going to scroll through this a little fast. Uh, I am going to put this up as a web page of my own. I have not done that yet. Yet anyway, but I'm going to. And I want everybody to look at it. And I'm going to go through it a little fast, but I'm only doing that for some people. I want you to pay close attention to what I'm going to show you. Did you see that? Now, did you understand what you just saw? You probably did not. So, Take your time and pause it and read it for yourself. Okay? Now I'm not I'm not trying to violate or intimidate or anything like that. But what's going on, folks, is not not in, at all, not at all, what anyone here should think it is, because it's not. That's a fact. Now, another thing that happened yesterday, along the same thing, was a man. They'd been on the market for uh, a new heart for two and a half years. Was taken off of that because 
he refused to get a roll up your sleeve. Uh, well, first off, that's crazy. That's just totally crazy. Uh, we got people out there that are telling us that we uh, don't have no rights on a Schwarzenegger. Uh, Arnold, dude, uh, your father was from Germany, was a Nazi, and then you want to tell us, the American people, that we don't have the right to be free unless we get a vaccine. That's not being free, bitch. And you don't scare me a damn bit. You're an old man just like me. You want some? You come and get it. And I ain't lying. You want to tell me that to my face? You come and tell me. You come and tell me that shit. To my face. And I'll show you that you ain't shit. Because, see, anybody can take steroids and get big muscles. But the ones that don't take steroids and they got big muscles, them son of a bitches will break you in half. Like you a piece of shit. Ain't no joke. You know how I know? Because I broke a man's arm when I was in my 20s. Because he'd been taking steroids. He had big old muscles and big old arms. I had big old arms, too. But I broke that son of a bitch from the elbow and the wrist. I broke it in the middle right there. Just like in the movie The Fly. Remember that? And that guy broke his arm off. I did that to him. I didn't mean to do that to him. He was a friend of mine. Who just arm wrestling. But he couldn't stand the pressure. His bones couldn't stand the pressure. Because of doing steroids. I ain't never done none. But I know you have. You know how I know you have? you told it before. You also looked like it till you started working out again, taking steroids again. That's a fact, Jack. You know it's a fact. But dude, if you don't like the American people any better than what you do, you need to go back to wherever you came from and spend your money there. Uh, you can go to Australia and see if you like living over there right now. Where they take making it mandatory for you to do this, that, and another. And, and yeah, you got to have a passport just to go to the grocery store. Yeah, that's something else. And making people have a passport. Mm -hmm. in France uh, if you don't have a passport you can't go to the grocery store well now I'm going to be honest with you straight up all of you people straight up if that's the way y'all want to live you go for it but don't start that here in the United States because when you do there's going to be all kind of hell to pay. I mean all kind of hell. The sleeping giant is almost awake. And the sleeping giant says, no more bullshit. Y'all keep playing your games. And you people out there that think that y'all are on the right side of the fence. And you're going to tell somebody what they're going to do. You're fixing to have a big awakening. You're going to have a big old asshole. Because you're going to get a lot of foot stuck in it. And I'm talking about them big old size 12 ones. Them big long ones with big fat feet. You know the ones that they got lungs in them and they breathing? Them big long feet. 
you gonna get some of that up y'all's asses. Uh -uh, I ain't joking. I ain't joking not even a little bit. Straight up facts. Y'all know that it's straight up facts. And, you know, I don't really know who Joe Biden really is, but I'm going to be honest with you, folks. That man cannot be an American citizen. No. He can't be the same man that I used to know and you used to know. Telling you that you got to do this? No. He can't do that. Now can he? Nope. You know why he can't do that? You want to know why he can't do that? It's unconstitutional. And all of these companies, straight up, now they're telling you, the government is telling you to pay attention to your local, for instance, let's just use this. Mainstream media tells you that, you know, you've got to pay attention to this and you've got to do it this way. Well, Ain't that a, a strong arm of the government? Hmm. Doesn't that make them government as well? Hmm. Yeah, it does. So, that means that, that means they think they're the law. Guess what? That means it's open season on their ass. It's like going duck hunting and grizzly bear hunting and deer hunting. It ain't deer and bear hunting. You know, deer and women with bear ass. We ain't talking about none of that. We talk about real shit. We talking about real. Real ammo. The whole nine yards. Some of these people are out there. My local news, after all of these things that come out last night, <laughs> <clears throat> or yesterday, the things that came out, all the things that I saw yesterday just blew my mind. Okay? Talking about the, the mask. My local news come out with the mask thing. And everything that the people were telling you about the, the, the mask, about the toxicity to your blood, and for your kids and, and mainly for you and your kids they they did their own study here locally and they fact checked it and everybody that's talking about all the uh, toxicity toxicity in their blood including doctors were saying it was bullshit bullshit they're saying that facts real facts of real life is bullshit. So they're telling you that you can't do your own research and be your own person. Really? Folks, I don't know about you, but there is something seriously wrong with a lot of things. And and Biden not talking to the people about what's going on in Afghanistan. You know, I just, you know, I got bad news for you folks. And this is no joke. And I, I I'm just don't want to have to say it, but I'm going to. We're fixing to go to war. And the reason why is because this is the worst time in history that our finance to these con this country is in disarray to the major points that you just can't believe. And they're trying to mandate all kinds of laws and rules. Hey, 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 y'all hush mandate all kind of laws and rules against all of us 
and think that we're going to lay down for it. Mm -mm. They don't care. China and Russia don't care. They don't care at all. But we're vulnerable. And they do know that. And if they ever wanted to do anything to us right now, would be the most ex the most easiest thing for them to do and get away with it worldwide with everybody not paying attention. They could do it. Is that maybe why they're doing it? All of these different things? The weather mod changes, the weather changing the way it's changing, uh, flooding in China, uh, droughts in uh, Missouri and all up west. Uh, not Missouri. Uh, uh, um, damn, where is that? It doesn't matter. It's one of those countries up there where they're they're they're. It's completely dry. A two and a half, three inches below normal right now in rain. And all out west, California, Arizona, New Mexico, all of those countries uh, around. Uh, uh, Yellowstone and all up in there all the way over towards Michigan it's dry ain't had no rain hardly at all this year but down here where I'm at been flooding they're modifying the weather folks somebody is modifying the atmosphere the ionosphere they're pushing it one way or another to cause this weather pattern to be in such an array that it's in right now and causing droughts all over the country all over the world and causing floods all over the world you can't change the weather in one area and think that it's not going to do damage to the rest of the world you just can't do it you can't they know that and they said they're going to be able to control the weather by 2025 that may be possible but if they do, it's going to be done from space with a lot of equipment. A lot of shuttles have been going up in the space the last couple of years, have they not? They might be able to finish it off by 2025. They're going to have to use frequency, which that's what they're already doing. There's a lot of things that are out there. I've seen somebody take the little meter uh, and put it on somebody's arm. Now, understand that I know one person and that doesn't mean that the person that I saw with that meter doesn't mean that what I'm about to tell you has anything to do about that being a hoax because that's not what I'm saying whatsoever everything that's come about with the magnetic fields and all of that crap I've checked with this person and all the ones that I've done do not show up yet uh, on this particular person now it may be too long now and it's too much in their blood I can't do blood with a microscope and tell you whether or not the blood cells are stacking up like dimes do okay I don't have that kind of equipment which the hell I did but then it would put me in another category in life that might not be so good for me because see I am not going to sit there and lie to you knowing different I'm not going to get on here like that nurse was trying to do and then tell you that she's got something to tell you and then she just can't tell you she does but she can't some people just can't tell a lie that they've been told to do they can't act a lie out for you some people can't they real good at acting in real life. They can just throw out that, hey, pink's purple, and by God, you're going to believe it. you got to believe that shit because pink is purple. But it ain't. See the point? They good at lying and cheating, stealing. Like Fauci. He's been called out how many times now? about his lies one minute he says uh, the 
You don't need a mask. They don't do anything for you. And then he turns around now and he says, you need to wear a mask every day. Why? Why? Why did he tell you that? They need to make it look worse than it is. And they're going to continue to do so until you roll up your pants way on up past your butthole so they can have a free shot. Do you understand? No loo. Just straight on up the asshole. You understand? And the ones of you that keep paying attention to it and you calling other people idiots as fools because they're not doing it. Oh. Uh, you know, I hope you have a long, healthy life. But see, now that you've already had that roll up your hooer, they can have your they can have your booty hole anytime they want it. That's fact. If you don't pay any attention to any of the science that's ever came out, <coughs> you may be completely out there. But if you paid any attention to anything about things that is happening, electronics, uh, updates, paid attention to computers and how fast and how good and much better they are than they were when they first come out. And now that they've gotten to where they're at, that they're even worse and they just keep working against you and telling on you and telling everybody else what you're doing. Where are you people that live in this world that know that what's going on right now is wrong and illegal? Now, I don't know if any of y'all know who Tim Tebow is. Uh, you know, the football player, and he come to Florida. They cut him after the first game. Some of you already know this. But did you also know that he come out against the people? The human trafficking. He come out against those people. Did a big thing about it. Since the COVID started, it's been in that point. Between 2019 and today, yesterday's when I saw it. Okay. He actually telling people about all of those things that, well, you know, who's that guy that they supposed to kill that was in prison? Uh, and he's got cahoots and uh, ties with Pizzagate and the Clintons and, you know, on and on and on and on and, and Bill Gates. And, you know, all those people that are all tied in with this guy. And. We all were told that he was killed, and we all know that the guy that he killed, they showed, is not the guy that it's supposed to be. He's a lookalike. But yet, here we go again. The same old crap. I told you that uh, uh, Billy and his sweetie pie was getting a, a divorce. That's all bullshit. It's, all bull it's just type money in another way, another way, in an opposite way. So you think about what's going on. You look into your own heart, your own soul. Think about what's going on in this world today, right now, and see. If it's any different for you right now than any other time in history. And you're going to probably find that it ain't no different for us or anybody else at this given time. And that's pretty much fact. Don't y'all know that already? Now, I'm really being honest. I love my country. I do. But I don't love what's going on in my country. Do y'all? Does any of y'all out there 
like what's going on in your country at this given time and given moment? Do you have any idea what's going on with your country right now? Seriously, man. Do you have any idea what's going on what's not going on with your country? Of course you don't. You don't have no idea what's going on with your country. That's no disrespect to you. It's like the act of 1871. That's information that you hear and you know and know what's happening to your world. But you didn't know those things. But I don't know who's going to ever pay no attention to it. Not anymore. They have screwed up things so bad and so much. It's just out there. Folks, where are you? It was some man up in D.C. running around in a truck making videos telling them he was going to blow up two city blocks. He didn't want to, is what he was saying. But yet, then I hear something else come out about it today, and I ain't heard nothing else about it. Or if they caught the guy, or what, and it doesn't matter, I, I don't really care, other than the point to report it to you. It's telling you that someone has set him up as being one of the Capitol Police. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I ain't done that much digging into that. Because, see, I know that if he was one of them, then we probably won't never hear nothing else about it. But if it wasn't one, and he was really some dude, uh, I'm not surprised because I know that that's fixing to start happening a whole lot more than it ever has in history. For a whole, not just for one or two people. In the, in the hell. I'm talking about every one of them sons of bitches that has been lying to you about what's going on worldwide. There's a lot of you people that are involved that are going to have major, major, major problems if this keeps going in the manner in which it is going. Now, I, people aren't going to put up with us anymore. They're done. That's a fact. They're done. Y'all know they're done. So why do y'all keep playing the game? That's all I want to know. Why do you keep playing the game? The game's over. And that's a fact. You gotta stop playing the game. And that's an absolute guaranteed fact. Whether you want to keep on with it or not, that's entirely up to you. Y'all know it. Just like I do. It don't do me no get good to get in here and get mad and tell y'all things. about what's going on because it seems to be nobody out here wants to believe nothing they want to lie to you they want to tell you misleading truths undeniable anything everything's deniable you can't get the straight answer out of no one on mainstream media out of the White House anywhere anymore 
they want you to believe their science, not the real science. They want you to believe their science. You got to believe their science, or you're wrong. Straight up, you're wrong. If you believe in the real science, you're wrong. <coughs> and this doesn't matter from one to all science. We can be talking about earthquakes. We can be talking about uh, weather modification. We can be talking about wiggly worms that can get in your arm and and stuff like that. You know, those things don't happen, right? Science says it don't. It can't happen. But on one hand, but on the other hand, on science it does happen. So who's right? The the people that are telling you, with one hand. They turn around telling you with the other hand that none of that stuff's right. It's all lies. Straight up, all lies. No jokes, no ifs, no ands, no buts. All lies. So who wants to know the truth? Anybody want to know the truth? Of course not. Nobody wants to know the truth. Because the truth won't set you free, will it? No, the truth can't set you free, can it? Can it set you free? I don't think so. Now, I'm not going to tell you, but you see this? Watch it. Everything that I just said, you can see right here. About some of those people we were talking about. They'll tell you things that are just going to blow your damn mind. Where we can program. Yeah. And if we had the right code, we could turn you into a butterfly. Straight up. We could turn you into a flappy butterfly. Let's fly, fly away. Some of you are going to want to probably do that before it's long, too long because that's just the way life is, ain't it? So make sure you go see that. You see where it's at, don't you? Don't you see where it's coming from? Uh, I guess you don't. Oh, there you go. See where it's at? Yep, that's where it's at. Yes, sir, Ray. That's it right there. Go see it. You need to see it. You want to see it. You got to see it. Ain't no it. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You see what that right there says right there, right? Can you read that? Mine I can't because it's a little small on there. But that's okay. Kind of looks like this up here. You see what I'm showing you, right? Fix it. You seen it, right? Yeah, you saw it. Kind of looks just like that. It's about pretty much exactly the same. It's up to you. You see what that is. And this right here is the back side of a Conoax connection, just like you would have come into your house for your internet if you're using cable. Some's using telephone. Doesn't matter. These towers have coax and they have ends on them like that that transmit and receive. That's a transmitter and it's a receiver. One that's tore up because it was being replaced. Watch the video. Go there and watch it. I'll try to put it in the below section. For some reason they keep taking part of the URL out and it quits, quits working. So you might just need to go to my channel that's on there 
check it out. Maybe I can muster that up somehow. But it's up to y'all folks. You can be free and be an American. Or you can be a slave. Go to sleep. Put your butt in the air. And they'll come by and give you a tattoo. And say you're a good person. You stay in this position and I'll be back in a few minutes. And I'll give you another tattoo. It's all up to you. What life do you want to live? You want to be free? You want to be a slave? Or do you want to believe Arnold Schwarzenegger that wanted to be the president? Can you believe this? He wanted to be the president of the United States. After he'd been governor, no wonder California so screwed up. Someone that was non-American and has stole people's rights in California the way they have. Just don't know. But listen up, folks. Much love to y'all. Y'all all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful evening. But from my cold, dead hands, and I damn well mean it, abolish corporate greed. That means mainstream media. That means Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google. You, all of those people, all of them, every one of them is controlling you. Aren't you sick of that? What do people happens to those people? Ain't they supposed to get run out of town? From a 73 year old video, that's what the video says. Run them out of, run them out of town. A cartoon. It's 73 years old. That's a fact, Jack. They want you to sign on a dotted line and give up all your freedoms. And all of you people that's went out there and you got, you will roll up your sleever. You gave all your freedoms away. You don't have the right to sue them. No sirree. But if something happens to you, you don't have the right to live. You don't have the right to sue. You don't have the right to do anything. Why? Because you signed on the dotted line and they told you that you couldn't sue them. That's right. So now they pushing it even harder. You can't sue them because too many of you out there has already turned your back on it. <coughs> and think about all those people just storm. And, 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 you know, just for me to try to do the reaction that they're doing hurts me. It, 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 uh -uh. No, way, no way in hell. If I was doing that permanently, it'd break my neck. Would I couldn't do it. So if with that, much love to y'all. That for my cold dead hands one more time. Abolish corporate greed. And you know who I definitely who I'm talking about. And any lying son of a bitch that wants to take your freedom away from you is a lying, two faced, no good, countless son of a bitch and what you do is you run them motherfuckers away from you as far as you can get it one way or the other don't play with them anymore people it's time this shit was over much love you have a good day now you're here